another morning here on Mars. We have our wonderful cryo chambers to wake up from now. Yes, they're very comfortable. Yes, and we don't have to just like rough it in like the, the seats of our rovers overnight. We actually have a nice place to sleep. Yeah, Keeps these things us, must uh, have been expensive. Yeah, well, it took a fair amount of that uh, medical components. So I've used up some yeah. of our silver. But we have our nice new house uh, mostly complete. I mean, the roof has still got holes in it. <laughs> yeah, we need a contractor or something for this. Yep. But we are awake. Another good morning here on Mars. And there's, oh, look at the solar tower. Just oh, it's looking beautiful. Absorbing all of that energy for our base. Which Yeah, how are our batteries doing? Yeah, that was I'm literally just wondering how my, how our batteries are. Uh They say they're actually depleting. How much is our solar tower making? Oh, is it because your rover's charging? I mean, the solar panels are outputting their energy, but your rover batteries are probably just ripping some power out of there. But that's fine. Yeah, it's temporary. That is good. But today we have plans, right? We do have plans. Big Very exciting plans. plans. We are heading off to the secret weapon research facility as uh, we need more weapons. Oh, yeah. Railgun's locked. We need to find a way to get it. Yeah, we have... Well, uh, what do we have for available for uh, uh, block weapons? Block yeah, weapons. I just have the assault and artillery. Uh, the railgun is missing. Yeah, we need to go get some better guns. So that we can take yeah. out these shipments just by sniping them with a railgun at distance. Yeah, we know where to get them, but it's a bit far. Mm-hmm. Top of the horizon right over there. So, yeah, what do we got? We got 24 and a quarter kilometers to the Seeker Weapon Research Facility. So, I think the best bet would probably take the flyer. Yeah, I don't really want to drive that far. Because we can get some better speeds on that thing. Yes, certainly. Um, but it would be very neat if we could perhaps take one of our cars with us, just because they have better combat abilities than our uh, delicate flyer. True. Um, I, the, We've seen the flyer carry three large batteries. It could probably, and also it was carrying those batteries while it had a full cargo load. If it's empty, it could probably carry like one of our rovers if you want to take it along. I think we could try it. I, these, these things are probably lighter. Although, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we can well, test it. They're probably yeah, lighter yeah, than let, a battery. Let me uh, go jump into this and uh, let's let's see. All right, you want to move forward a bit more, please? Yep. I'm going to use my nose gear to catch you the back of your... Uh, oh, yeah, here. okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no issues at all. No issues at all. Um, I would like to attach maybe a parachute, though, on this thing. <laughs> well, then I can just throw you. Toss me. I cannot jump the distance. I have to toss me. <laughs> you, you can toss I can just do a flyby and just toss you out. And I can just <laughs> let the AI uh, land me. Sweet. Go. Land uh, the ship. Oh, my gosh. This. I love that. That was amazing that you set that up. <laughs> okay. So, checklist before we go is we need some personal weapons because my guess is we're going to have to clear that space on foot. So, so we need some guns and we need uh, some stuff like that. Uh, ooh, maybe this is maybe this is a time we put a survival kit on one of our stuff so that we can respawn at that thing. Yeah, yeah, if we just slapped a survival kit on the back here. Yeah, let me, it let me could look work. at that here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it'll fit there. We uh, could even replace one of the cargo containers if we want. Or we just slap it right there. Boom. Okay. So, in which case, we probably want to take some Gatling ammo for your ship. 
My ship might have enough. Let me check. I had a bunch and last time. And we'll take all of the, or at least a fair amount of our guns. Because we want spare kits, right? So if we die and respawn, we can grab a kit from yes. the uh, Very good idea. thing and then come we, back we out. Absolutely need those. So also just grab a bunch of spare uh, grinders. And While you welders. do that, I'm going to throw a parachute hatch on here. That way on respawn, you just grab a whole bunch of grinders and welders and... Grab a gun. And grab a stack of ammo and then... Head back in. Yeah. We're not going to die. We're invincible. Well, we're going to try not to. I don't want to lose my uh, good grinders and stuff. Although I yeah. might put those away before we go in. That might... We might find more, though. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Just get a gaming computer from the uh, cargo container there. Uh, let's see. Can I make some more bottles? Uh, I can. Let's make, like, uh... It's just a bunch of spare bottles. Also, I have added something to my room over here, if you'd like to see my... Oh, your bedroom? Very, yeah, my my super awesome addition. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's your... Oh, it's your postcards from your series. Yeah, a little, little, little postcard. It's a tack board. board. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Whips image converter, everybody. That is awesome. Evolution Lake, there's the Twin Peaks, Moon Gate. Yeah, I'm Phoenix surprised from bumps. they're readable. Marble Mountain. This one's kind of not something canyon. Uh, uh what was that one? I don't even remember. Oh, it's Canyon Canyon. Canyon Canyon. Canyon Canyon. And then yeah. something corridor. But very nice. Yeah, yeah. We, should put up, we should put up some more art around the place. Yeah, we can we can put up little poster boards of random stuff as well. It's, it's pretty easy hmm. to, uh, to make. A bit of fun just before we go and uh, Probably die. risk our lives. Yeah. Look at them thinking they're safe over there with their convoys arriving safely. Mm-hmm. Little do they know that we're going to rock their world here soon. Yeah, we know where their secrets are. Ah, batteries are recharging now. Oh, cool. Recharging in five hours. Oh, okay. It's not bad. Well, I mean, and this is with our this is with our reactor turned off and our uh, engines turned off. This is just the solar panels. Yeah, this is just the like base power of the base. There's like too many bases in that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say as well, we have a random battery here that we took back. It's just uh, kind of sitting here. Yeah. Well, I thought that would be the start of a large grid rover. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. We can Good take idea. that thing and plunk it down in the open and uh, maybe lift it up with the flyer and then start building some uh, struts from it. And then we can build a rover around it. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Okay, I'll go ahead and hop in this thing, and uh, if you'd like to grab this, or do you want me to f drive over there? Oh, no, I can come grab you. I am detecting unusual readings inside the G-Corp headquarters tower. It may be a way to leave the planet, however safer options may exist. Ah. Right. Okay. We got options. Yeah. G Corp. So if we want to go out guns blazing, that's where we can go do it. Yeah, okay. And I see like a, uh, there's like a tunnel or something on the far side of that as well. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's kind of what it looks like it is. Uh, we got another grid probably dead ahead. Looks far. Just barely within render range.
You see it? No, I don't see that one. I see something there dead ahead. Oh yeah, I see it now. It's just popped in. Yeah, that is a grid. Looks like it's got like... Oh, that's a friendly grid. No uh, yeah, I have it as neutral. I've got a neutral and friendly. Do you want to check it out? Yeah, I mean, it's right here. If we get a little mini base here we can spawn at. I mean, that's nothing wrong with that. You want me to drop you? Uh, yep, I'm ready for deployment. You've got it ready on your hotbar? Ready on my hotbar and ready on the gyros just in case. And, oh, it's emerging medical station. Oh, perfect. So we didn't need a survival kit. We would have gotten that, I guess. Huh? Well, I mean, nice to have a survival kit. Very nice. Ready. Dropping. I am ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop. All right. And we are going. Parachutes are away. <laughs> Imagine they just start shooting at me. <laughs> Some floating. That's dropping quite nicely. That it's is, your... yeah. This is like a perfectly centered parachute, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm coming on in. Oh, I see you. Welcome. Oh, they have a windmill. Very cool. Solar panels in case we need more. Mm -hmm. And there's something in the ground right in front of me. Landmines? Mm, doesn't look like a landmine. <laughs> it looks more like a... Ooh, it's, a... it's a data pad. Okay, a data pad. What do we got? Nurse, we have a patient with serious radiation burns. Please see him as soon as you get in. Don't worry, doctor. I fix, I fix. <laughs> Nurse R. Nurse R, all right. That might give us... A little bit of uranium, which is nice. Okay. And is it another Miki scrap delivery? Two oh, and a half thousand scrap. He loses those things so easily. Yeah. All right, let's check this out. We've got oh. cargo. Good grinder in here <laughs> for you. <laughs> Told you we'd get better, uh, better tools here. All right, I'm gonna take uh, ownership of the blocks. Okay. So we've gotten this one. And we'll... My guess is there's going to be... There's medical components in here. Yeah. You think they do build. it like this so that we claim ownership of it when we build it up? Uh, yeah. I think this is set up so that you do have respawns at the, uh... You know, close to the secret weapons facility. Yeah. Very but well done. We have a respawn here. Okay, awesome. All right, you want to drive on over, or you want to fly on over? I'll drive on over to the medical, yeah. or to the, uh, the other guy. Uh, it is definitely hostile. I'm getting a lot of hostile readings, actually. Uh, I guess yeah, I'm getting readings inside the, uh, inside the base there. Uh, I'm looking at it through one of my turrets. I don't see any exterior um, turrets or anything. Okay, I'll get a little closer and maybe poke the uh, poke the bear, if there is a bear. I'm I'm picking up uh, neutral signals and enemy signals in the ground. In the ground? Yeah, uh, but it's further away than the entrance. It's like okay, a so kilometer and a bit. We're not looking at a potential minefield then. <laughs> not that I can tell. Okay, because I'm seeing yeah. what you're seeing, and this is very worrying. <laughs> I don't see any turrets on that thing. Okay, I don't die there. Just lighting glitches that look like bullet tracers are freaking me out, but it's okay. I'm going to do a flyby and see if I get shot at. Okay, I'm doing a drive up as well. Nope, nothing. Will my turret shoot at it if I turn them on? I, I set my turrets to shoot at weapons. And they are not shooting. Okay, mine's set to shoot at weapons as well. And mine's not fire. 
I don't see anything like that that could uh, move out. Okay. There is a camera on the block right here. There is right a here. camera. So they could mm. be watching us right now. That's fine. We'll wave at them. Hey, Storage facility MA384. Oh. Uh, access okay. denied. I'm going to cut my way in. Yeah, I think that's warranted. Another camera. Okay, look up. There could be a turret right above. Nothing. Just cargo containers. Alright, let's clear this room. Oh, it's just cargo containers. Okay. What? This can't be it. Uh, well, this one right here is a little suspicious. Look at the ground. It's got like a little... The block is a different block under there. Let's first... It's oh, medical, medical components. components. Yeah. Let's first just get all the stuff out of these uh, cargo containers and put them into the, uh, the flyer. Yeah, we've got extra There's stuff. There's a door here. here. Yeah, underneath the cargo container. Oh, nice. You're, right. you're, you're smart. Yeah, it was looking a little suspicious there. Okay, this All one's right, got some explosives in it. Ooh, more ammo. And more ammo. And a good welder. It's the secret weapons facility, so it's got to be a secret. Of course it does. All right, who's dropping in? Whoa. <laughs> dropping sure. down. Do we drop down or do we upside down parachute it or upside down jetpack it? <laughs> oh, upside down jetpack it for sure. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing any turrets. Uh, nothing in this first room. Okay. We got text here that says level. Level. What does that say? It's uh, level eight, I think. Clearance only. Okay. Well, we have clearance via our grinders. All right. Ready with your. Uh... I've got my gun out here. Gun. Oh, I see a lot of red light. I don't see any hostiles. Oh, that is an ominous corridor. Yeah, no kidding. Let's make sure there's nothing right above. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something right above us. Yeah? Yeah, I don't here. know what it is, though. That might be a turret. Let me just go through this block here. Okay. Yeah, there is a turret. Okay. It might not fall, but it is at least unpowered. Nice. And free ammo. I am detecting explosive compounds nearby. Um. Uh. Okay. So, How about uh, they don't ex Oh, is this minefield? I'm gonna walk on the sides here. This looks highly suspicious. Should we walk separately? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Like, oh, 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 sensor, sensor. Right side, sensor. Right side, sensor. You want me to shoot it? We can. Maybe. Well, I want to see what it does. We, we got a respawn here. pod right there. I'll be back here. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. You just saying hello? <laughs> and then a, a, a comic pause. <laughs> then explosion. Okay, so there is mines down here, and they are deadly. They are a uh, deadly. Left side, left side. Left side, okay. You see it? Well, hang on, you can probably run past it. Oh, go ahead. All right, uh, hang on. <gasps> ah, run! Run! Keep running! Keep running! <laughs> <laughs> All right, free stuff. Yeah, a little bit of uranium. All right. So you can run past them. But, so if you hear a sensor um, trip, just freaking book it. Yeah. As long as you don't... Oh! <laughs> 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 There's another one right there. Are you going to go set it off? You should do one. I'm, I'm... <laughs> there, no, you, you try it. You try it. I've set off enough. 
I may have broken that one. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> We're gonna collapse this whole place. Yeah, but that's the fun of it. All right. Oh, there's another one there on the right. There is, but you think we can make it just to that door? If we just go? Uh, sure, you can go ahead. Try it. Oh! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> oh, there was another one on the left that he exploded. Yeah. Okay, I got in, and I didn't get shot. <laughs> so, I think we're probably safe here. So, I think we're probably safe here. Ah! Ah! Let me out! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, don't go in there! <laughs> I think something. we're safe here. Hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, hello. Just gonna, just gonna grab this. Now, if you'd like to take a glance at what's down there, you can maybe take a peek, but then back up. Whoa! It's a yeah, that, that's why. <laughs> Is it like and, a uh, mech? It, it appears to be some sort of mech. With, uh, with some sort of... It's a goddamn Gundam. Yeah. Yeah. Very deadly. Can um, we shoot it from here? We can have at it. I mean, I'm hitting it, but I'm not sure if shooting it in the head is actually going to damage it. Yeah, I think its arms might be the more deadly part. Uh, I wonder uh, how high it can aim. Oh, it oh. can shoot me there. Good shots, good shots. I'll, I'll, I'll take a shift. Alright, you're up. It's angry with you. Am I shooting at the right thing? Is the left arm? That's what I'm shooting at. Left arm? Okay. Yeah, I'm shooting at the left hand. I don't know if that's where it's shooting from. Not getting many hits. Here, let me open this up maybe a bit more. Yeah. Let's see where it's done. Oh, it's got missiles! That's what those are. Okay, it's got a big set of gadlings on the right arm. I don't know what's on the left arm, though. Yeah, that's the missiles. Oh, the, okay. S something yeah. on the left is smoking. Yeah, on the right we hit a couple of the missile things. I'm gonna say it left. It's it's left. It's left. It's left, left. okay. I, I shot a couple uh, I shot it in the head a couple times. Okay. I think it might be done. Oh, it's not done! Left side, uh, our, our left, it's right. Well, I think it's, it, it didn't fire any missiles there, so I think we killed its missiles. Yeah, that's why it is. Cool. Oh, we got one of its, uh, turrets there. It's not the most accurate, it's very nice. Okay, one more, I think. One more Gatling. Left left. All right, Gatlings are destroyed. Missiles are destroyed. I think that thing is uh, neutered. <laughs> I think he might be. Okay. I'm gonna very slowly go down this uh, walkway here. Yeah. Um, that was the biggest There's threat. There's ve vehicles down threat. there as well. Large hydrogen tanks here. What is that? That are half full. I'm not sure if we can get the hydrogen out of them. Oh, yeah. We might be able to if we can open a door up there or something. But all the way down... Um... I don't... I'm shooting near it. Do you see what I'm shooting at? Yeah. Doesn't that look, kind of look like something that might, like, attack us? It's got a sensor on it. I don't know. There's one of those forklifts from the, uh, the ice mine here. Ooh, and like I'm not sure if those are full grids. They're just, like, park grids. OK. 
Okay. That is definitely a turret right there, right? Where? I'm showing you next to it. Yes, but is it active is a good question. We're not shot, <laughs> so. All right, well, if it shoots, we respawn close by. Oh God, that yeah, thing is fine. turning to f look at us. <laughs> oh gosh. It's, it's a turret. <laughs> That's so cool. A shame we couldn't uh, claim it. Well, I mean, we could probably still salvage it. Yeah, it still has its brain. I guess it's turning. Oh, God. Uh, that turret might be inactive, but it might become active if we activate something. A sensor or whatever. True, yes. Did you want to uh, at least get it burning right now? Nah, let's see what happens. All right. It'll be so fine. So like some kind of like dig almost. Yeah. Like an archaeological oh, dig. A giant door as well. Yeah. This is very neat. I think I know where the sensor for that turret is, by the way. I think it's that thing I was shooting at earlier. Because it does have a big sensor on it. All right, let me go investigate the turret then. Okay. Oh, it's uh, no owned by nobody. Oh. It and it's that that's it. It's it's everything. just a turret. There's no other grid there. Okay. In that case, we're probably safe. Ooh, rockets. There's oh, missile turret nice. here. That'll be helpful. Yeah. I'm not picking up much stuff right now. I'm just focusing on uh, getting things. This is a powered ship here. Hello, you monster. Uh, what is this? Cargo container with ammo on it. Oh, this has got a lot of girders. This one's got a lot of girders. Yeah. I don't suppose this guy is drivable, is it? Can you capture it? Let's see. Yeah, it's it's uh, to nobody, so I'm pretty sure you could just select everything and give it to you. Yeah, I just it's me now. And then is you can just battery? turn the batteries on to uh, auto. Oh. Nice. This thing is cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it does not have much braking. Hang on, good lord. We probably have to just adjust the wheel settings. Well, we have uh, the ability to maybe hack this thing and open this door. Do we do that? Um, I kind of want to back this thing up a little bit because I'm afraid that if something shoots, it'll just destroy this right off the bat. So yeah, let's get that out of the out of the uh, line of fire, maybe. All right, I open gotta, it up and be. Now nah, we gotta hack it this way. Oh well, uh, there's turrets. Oh, they're angry too. Oh my gosh. Let me fly to the other side. There we go. Gotta work the angles. I think there's another Yeah, I think there's another one on the left, but I can't really the Dead. There it is. Oh no! <laughs> with those interior turrets, man. They get one good shot on your forehead and you're instantly dead. You think you could just grab this turret over here? Oh, you wanted it. to uh, yeah, grind down this and throw it on this thing? Oh, yeah. We could put it on that, actually. Is this, made of heavy? this is heavy armor. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You know what you could do if you wanted to is you could make a large... This is a, like a reversed rotor here. So it's a small grid head attached to the small grid ship. The large grid rotor body here. You could add a large grid turret on this. Here, I'm hacking the doorway. Okay. <laughs> um. Whoops. <laughs> I, I didn't go to trucking school, okay? Control 
control that. So I should be able to right. open and close the doors, all right? Yep. Um, okay. If you Good. open them, here, yep, here, if here. you open them. Can I go. Can move this thing? That? I don't know if that will move. Also, I may Let have blown me... up its battery. Uh, what is with you in blowing up batteries? <laughs> that was that explosion you heard. I backed into it by accident. Oh, you blew up the LCD on the back. That's fine. Oh, whoops. Here, can you go forward? Because you're kind of like in a rut. Oh, yeah, sure. Here, let me uh, throw down some extra steel plates there. Now you can drive flat. Convoy oh, thank you. Okay, I've got the manual control. If you can open just the, just that second, or maybe even that, just that third layer up top, I can maybe just shoot this, uh, this turret without it being able to shoot the entire... Oh, okay. Oh, one down. Oh, there's four! I thought there was two! There's four! Oh, <laughs> The front of it's now burning. Oh, is it? You Sorry, rammed the air vent on the front. I panicked. I think you oh, can just okay, let the, the turret automatically shoot. Okay. We'll let it. We'll let it. You just back thing. up there and let it shoot. Come on, turret. Any second now. Any second now. Oh, it's not shooting. You gotta commit. Oh, you gotta give it an angle. We'll commit. We'll commit. Have it. Have an angle. Have your angle. Ah, it's not shooting! <laughs> <laughs> All right, manual control. I'm sorry. This is this is easier. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, that's the that's the accelerator, not the brakes. <laughs> uh, here. Do you wanna do you wanna get in the gun turret and I drive, or vice versa? I know. Do you you're you you're handling this perfectly. All right. Oh! One more, one more, just one more. Free fire, free fire, oh, keep going! Oh, I'm dead. Okay. No! I was trying to shoot while you were shooting. Yeah, so draw the fire. But alas. Okay, I think we've got two of them down. And there's Yeah, I think more. we've got two or three down. Okay. I'm not sure how many are burning uh, back there. What's that? I think when I flew back in, I triggered a mine that we hadn't popped yet. Oh. Okay. I'll shoot this guy first. Okay, that's one down. The only uh, last one's up top. Come on! The last one's up top! Last one's down. Hey! Excellent! Oh, that was stressful! Okay, if I hop out of this, is it gonna open fire? No, okay, cool. Oh, that was so stressful! <laughs> but, I'm glad we did it that way instead of- Oh my gosh, this poor ship. Have you seen this? Look at this! Hey, it's all armor damage. It's all armor damage. Yeah, Except for that it's... LCD I broke. It's not much. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's actually still it's a combat ship. It's what it was meant to do. Okay, yeah. we're in. We're in. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> what I just got launched to the ceiling. <laughs> I think I like went over like a little oh. bug or something and the game just went, oh, right, oh, you're I supposed see, to be on the over. surface. Right here. Oh, that is. <laughs> I got killed. I got launched into the ceiling at Mach 10. The floor is bugging on us. <laughs> yep, there we go. Did it get you as well? Yep. <laughs> you know I'm keeping a death counter, right? Well, no, it didn't kill me. It just launched okay. me. Okay. Oh, it killed me. I was I was murdered by the floor. Or the ceiling. Okay, if someone goes to court for that, who's liable? The floor or the ceiling? Uh, the floor launched you. The ceiling was just there. That's true. It's like if somebody throws you off a building, the ground didn't kill you. The guy who threw you did. <laughs> That's a good point. It 
It's all because this floor is deformed, but it's like not. It's weird. Yeah. There we go. Floor is safe now. The floor is okay. not lava anymore. <laughs> all right. Uh, mine left side. Stuff. Left side mine. Well, I mean, we could just, uh, you know, our our old tactic. Yippee ki yay! Run! <laughs> Keep running! Uh, I'm picking up the little bits of uranium afterwards. <laughs> Viewers, if you ever find yourself in a minefield, do not take this advice. Yeah. Alright. Ah! Another! Oh my god! <laughs> it caught me off guard! It lured you into a false sense of security. <laughs> it really did. Drop off all my materials I'm using. Let's put them in this transport here. Alright, I'll get my stuff. Our robot friend is still turning around. Oh, yeah. He's doing, he's being the best he can be. Oh, yeah. That's all he can do now. He's our friend now, now that he doesn't have any means of hurting us. While it's like you a... were fumbling Whoa. your way through the base, I found hidden files <laughs> on the computer network, directing output to the nearest display. Oh, okay. There's uh, airlock doors here as well. Oh, yeah. If, if these start opening, I'm running. Mm, yeah, that's a good call. Security office. This says um, science level eight required and research, research storage. storage. And yeah. this one you said said security office. Mainframe or... access. Authorized okay. text only. I'm cutting We're into authorized. the security office. All right. Weapons out. No turrets. This, uh... Yeah, no turrets. Oh, there's a button panel in here to uh, open these things up. I assume. Oh, neat. Okay. And we got a uh, cargo over here as well. Which has... Oh! High-powered weapons in there! Oh, nice. I'll take one. Good ones. We'll keep the other ones there, I guess. And come back for them. Ah, uh, so we've got research storage. Pressing exactly. the button. Exactly. want the cinematic, the cinematic Ooh, opening it's here. opening. It is. I see servers in there. No turrets. No turrets. Perhaps sensors? Who knows? Oh! Ha -ha -ha hacking! Sensor. Hacking! Hack. Okay. <laughs> this is good. Yes. Hack in progress. We haven't seen. We haven't had a hack in a several episodes. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Searching G Corp data files. Missile technology unlocked. Ooh. Missiles. Missile stuff. Oh, and there's a these. ton of missiles in here. And explosives oh, wow, yeah. and uranium. Dang. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. 30 missiles. Okay, what about the other side? Opening up uh, mainframe access. Yeah, go ahead. I got myself in a nice little position. Mm, I see a uh, sound block. I don't see any no turrets. turrets a lot of ooh, a lot of, a lot of a lot text. Of text. Okay, we're clear on turrets. All right. Do we start top left? I assume. Start top left. Smythe, the board wants to know when we can acquire deeds on the land around the other uranium deposits. The information is going to become common knowledge any time now. One of those colonists is sure to stumble onto one of them and set off a gold rush. Management. Uh, sir, the auctions is that yeah, the auctions have been delayed because the sellers have realized land prices on those on the planet are shooting up. Those scientists promising to build habitable domes and terraform the planet are setting off a frenzy of activity. We can only expect more colonists and rival bidders in the months to come. Smythe. 
Smythe, our news organizations have been set to discrediting the scientists and suggesting their projects are hoaxes and pyramid schemes to make themselves rich. People should have forgotten the climate change scandals of the 20s by now. We think it could gain traction with our right-wing audience and Earth-first parties. Management. Sir, <laughs> I have disturbing reports from our agent inside that a group of MRE scientists have had a significant success with contained biodome. Uh, they landed on they landed an iguana class freighter today with soil nutrient supplies and hydrolysis reactors uh, to expand the scale of their work. They haven't gone public yet, but when they do, it will drive up land costs exponentially. Smythe. All right. And Smythe, the board has voted to take exceptional measures to protect our assets on Mars. Your agent has clearance to modify the air filtering systems to flood the biodome with excess nitrogen while all the scientists are inside. Make it look like an accident. Management. Ooh, that's evil. Um, sir, the agent has finished his task. He's, he's sabotaged their database and emergency beacon. So it will be hard for even MRE to find the site I have attached the coordinates. Oh, the site. I have attached the coordinates. Smythe. And he has given us the coordinates in our HUD. Uh, in theory. Mm -hmm. MRE experiment site. Yes, I do have that, actually. Yeah? Oh, I do. I do, too. Uh, like it's 20 that kilometers uh, that way. Wait, where? I'm seeing it this direction. The way I'm pointing. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, wait, hang on, I'll see it. <laughs> Do you have uh, it in your GPS menu? Yeah, I, just, I think I just turned it on, didn't I? Or did I turn it off? I, it was oh, already on for me. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. MRE, so the... meal ready to eat. <laughs> Experiment site. <laughs> so we got rockets. We got missiles. Yeah, uh, it's W block weapons. We now have the rocket turret we didn't have before and the rocket launcher. Uh, yeah, we do. And <laughs> the reloadable rocket launcher, too. I have the railgun. <laughs> oh, I have the railgun, too. Oh, maybe we got it there. Yo, nice. So we All got right, the high end of uh, uh, tech. So we can build uh, <laughs> some. Tech, yeah. Oh, we could totally throw, like, a railgun or two onto the flyer, and then just from air, just, boom, snipe a transport as they go by. Oh my gosh, we could. Yeah. They wouldn't see it coming. No. Okay, I'd, well, I'd say this was a, a worthwhile uh, fight. Yeah, it looks like we've cleaned it out. And also oh, behind here, that? there's, like, a whole bunch of programmable blocks. Oh, <laughs> it's like, what is this? Some sort of server room? Hidden, yeah, the little hidden server room. Ah! Oh well, you're stuck down hey. there now. Yep, I'm I'm one with the servers. Okay. There go. Well, this place is gonna be uh, a lot of work to fully clear. Yeah, and those ships are not coming out. That that <laughs> that little drive driving ship, the rover. We'll I thought this would lead we'll to like a, an entrance somewhere, but it has not. We'll see what we can do. I've already grabbed everything from these. All right, I'm. Gonna, I guess it's time to just start taking uh, loads of materials out of here. Okay. I can't imagine we'll take nearly everything, but. Oh no, we'll have to come back with the bus and do a proper salvage. Yeah. I mean, realistically, we can just windows. break down everything and put everything into these large cargos, and then later on come back and uh, siphon everything. Oh, off that's there. a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. And then if we can somehow manage to get this long ship out of here, that would be neat. Yeah, how much does this weigh? This is fifty thousand kilos. Okay, is not terrible actually. Fifty k. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know how much my little one weighed. The one that we carried. Uh, I'm gonna go up and see if there's any possibility of us getting a flyer in here. So if we take this entire building off up here, I mean, 
what we could do... Do we have drills? We do. I've got a drill. No, I mean like block drills. Oh, block drills. We could slap a couple block drills to the front of this thing and drill in there. Oh, like I use that to yeah. expand oh, the uh, passageway. Yeah, would be a bad idea. I'm tempted to do this. Just do plunk and just see what I can build from this. Just needs displays and interior plates now. Okay, just needs displays. One display. Done. Nice. There we go. Now we have a place to dump stuff. Okay, are you still trying to get the uh, the ship in here? Oh yeah, I'm plan just planning it out, thinking about how I want to do that. Because uh, thankfully, this transport is actually fairly sn skinny. Yeah. So it if I is. grab it from the top with the ship, like we can take the uh, Gatling turret off again. Served us well. And if I grab, like if I line up and grab the thing from the top, I'll be wider than it. All I have to worry yeah, about true. is the uh, height. I wonder if you can dig out from the top. I know we're under a mountain, but how how much mountain is there above us? Oh, you mean like just put a bunch of drills covering the top of it and just right click and then just fly upwards? We could do that, yeah. I was wondering if we could just... Oh, uh, we're kind of we're kind of in it. There's a a lot of rock between us and the top there. Yeah, but that could be fun. Let's see if I can get these built. So if I can get these built, I can cut myself a nice wide path. Oh man, you can go every other if you're right-click mining. Yeah, but I'm excessive. Yep. Sweet. Okay, so you're just gonna go straight through the the uh, red hallway there? Sure. Okay. Well, there's other blocks that might get in the way, so I wonder if I should just a little bit. go to the side and try to go straight for the transport. Mm, do you have the marker? Yeah, I can see it on my Oh, head. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that should work. This is really how you storm a base. I'll get in there and mine toward you as well. Oh no, I'll be there quick. So also, if I do this at a nice gentle angle and do it smoothly, all I need to do is just lift you into this path and you can drive out. Ah, that's a good idea. I don't actually need to uh, carry you all the way out. Yeah, that would be that would be a bit of a hassle. <laughs> I'm in the hallway looking over and I see you <laughs> slowly moving. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're in this hallway as like a, a, a security guard and you just hear rumbling <laughs> from inside the walls. Must have been the wind. Oh, I yeah. see oh, a, there you go. an entrance. Yeah, most of it's clear. Hello, welcome to the inside. Wow, that's a very smooth opening too. I don't know that there's enough room on the top though. I can make some more. Yeah, because you'd have to get in there with it kind of as well. Yeah, just at least a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, should be enough. And how are we gonna get it home? <laughs> uh, well, if you want it, you can drive it. Yeah, I'm a little worried about all the all the things we saw flying over. Well, we could fly it home. Uh, if that ship is capable. 
Could you pull forward a bit? Yeah. And straighten up a little bit. More forward? Oh, it should be good. I just want to grab you with that front landing gear. Oh, okay. You're good there. I got enough space. Alright. Nice. Yep, I can carry you. Sweet. Okay, I'm still in it, so when you drop it, I'll start driving. Uh, you should be in the tunnel now? Yep, I'm in. Ready, drive forward. We're going! Hey, this is nicely made. Very smooth. Okay, I'll get it out here, and then I'll park it up. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Alright. Okay. That's a terrifying view, by the way. <laughs> Looking behind and seeing you. The flyer coming in behind it. Uh oh, I'm I'm, I'm lucky that turret did not just open fire on this. Well, we captured it, the whole thing. We captured it, yeah. Okay, nice. We have a new vehicle. Uh, it's a little banged up, but it served us well. But and this could be our uh, better um, combat ship. Because it has the ability to put a large grid something on it. Because we have this uh, rotor set up. Yeah. And it's heavy armor. So we True. just patch the up its heavy thing, armor and uh, it'll be able to take a beating. Because yeah, we can do this. And we can go... Like that. Oh my lord. Yeah, that'll pack punch. <laughs> Or we can do even bigger things. Are you gonna put, you're not gonna put. What is this? An artillery? artillery. <laughs> Why not? What is this? Or you can put even bigger things. I think that's probably the biggest. Uh, you can put a rocket turret on it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> One moment. Yeah, do that. Hmm. I need I need a steel plate. That'll work. But yeah, I think uh, just a nice large gat on here will be absolutely amazing. How that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Perfection. Oh, yeah, we have to do this. We have to fire that real gun at least once now. The ship would just get launched. Exactly. <laughs> and whatever we're aiming at will just instantly die. In theory. Currently, it's my other little ship over there. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the um, drills on here now, all right? Oh, yeah, good idea. Uh, ah! <laughs> we did it again. I hit you I with my flying, feet. I was by the way. I, I thought flying. I was going above you. <laughs> I was just walking. I'm walking here. <laughs> yeah, I'm flying here. Smack. <laughs> right. So I assume we can do a lot of the salvaging from this place off camera. Probably, yeah. As there's just a lot of stuff just to grind and take back. Yep. A lot. This is heavy armor, too. Wow. Also, it's nice having a nice wide open tunnel to fly up and down. Oh, yeah. That's a very smooth, uh, smooth little tunnel, this one. Oh, I got uh, I got forty uh, magazines of uh, gat out of that. Ooh, that's really good. All right, so I think what we can do is just grab the important bits, and we can probably head back to base. Yeah. All right. We'll have uh, to come back grab... here several times. Yes, definitely. Uh, reactor component, maybe detector components are important. Well, we can make sure we've, we've filled up the ships. Yes, but we have to make sure that the... Uh, if we're going to fly everything back, we have to make sure the thing can lift it all. Oh, gosh. It is a lot to fly. If not, somebody's driving. 
Mm, true. I mean, if someone's going to drive, what we could do is we could take that new rover. It's got a bunch of battery, right? It could. It's got tons of power to get home, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. We could take it and like build a bunch of small grid. Or heck, it's got a large grid thing. We can build like a large grid cargo container on top of its head. Oh yeah. And we could fill that cargo container. <laughs> then you could you could drive that home. Yeah, if it comes to that. <laughs> Looks like it's a bit of a far. <laughs> I mean, that's not the worst thing we've ever done. No, I mean, it'd be a very top-heavy, but it's doable. You just... Maybe it's worth it. That would save us a lot of trips. <laughs> Drive safe. Ah, well, let's do it, yeah. Be let's careful see. with my uh, my little wheel thing, my bucket of bolts over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be silly. A little bit. We'll give it a nice skin. It's going to be awesome. It might get into combat, too. That's what I'm worried about. I don't know, I'll fly interference and fly above you. Okay. Cover you. <laughs> I could mail, uh, I could put some like turrets facing downwards on my uh, flyer too. <laughs> this is gonna be silly. It, we embrace it though. I mean, if, if the flyer wasn't capable of taking the other ship, I would put the other ship on the back of that thing too. Still drives. Okay. <laughs> that's that's good. Let's see if I can get any more useful stuff out of here. Oh, did you get everything from down here? Cargo container's empty. Okay. This might provide some good stuff. Be very careful when I see you coming, <laughs> coming flying. <laughs> Get out of the way! I'm flying through. <laughs> yeah. Fuel low. Oh, my jetpack is almost done. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, I was critical. outside when that happened. Yeah. Oh, uh, we should have plenty. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I've got a whole row of jetpack stuff in here. You just gotta hot swap them out for a couple filled ones. We got most oh, of God. the good stuff from down here. Yeah, most of it's gone. Just some, like, small grid... Small grid stuff that we can get. Yeah, stuff that's not, uh, that important to grab. Uh, I mean, considering if we get this whole large cargo container full of stuff back, then... That's good enough loot for me. Yeah. Okay. I, I think for this thing, in order for it to actually survive the trip home, we need to uh, make it a little bit wider. Yeah, that might be a good call. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna cut away this piston now. All right, go for it. Wait, you're cutting it? Oh, if you cut it, it might. Oh, it's fine, okay. I was worried it'd start like going crazy or something. Hey, that works. Yeah, that actually works really well. It's silly, but it functions. Uh, yeah, you might have to turn those wheels on the outside to, like, not... Oh, well, yeah. it, it might work as is. It works. Okay, so uh, you'll provide Overwatch. I will well, uh, try not to let this thing crash. I'll provide... Uh... Uh, moral support. Moral support, yeah. And I'll sort of uh, guide your uh, route. <laughs> I'm worried about this thing. There we go. I am dampened to you. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. And so the long drive begins. Will they make it home? Find out next time in Dragon Ball Z.